Hi everyone, my name is Eileen Wu. I am an Olympic weightlifting coach and welcome to my reaction of the 2019 CrossFit Games men's clean event. So here we go. Scott Patrick 370, let's go. Feet on the barbell, hands on bar. A little bit, oh, oh, oh. Now, see, now it's a little grip and rip-ish. Now there's a little separation with him and the barbell, but he got it. So let's, let's see this a little bit slower. So feet under the bar. Hands on bar, doesn't tighten up, looks straight ahead, sits on his heels. Oh, see, and you see that jolt. So the initial pull is, you can even see that jolt. Uh, pulls him forward a little bit. It's, it's just a little surprising to the body as opposed to being tight and then pushing off, right? So here, here we have this little jolt, but he does a decent job keeping it close. A little bit of that arm bend here, keeps it close, keeps it close. Knees slack off here a little bit. And this, like I said earlier, is typical of what you see when the feet are straight ahead and the knees are straight ahead. In order to clear the knees and keep the back angle the same, the knees will slack off like this. And here he's coming forward to meet the bar. Arms are bent and pulling that barbell in, keeping it tight, because you have to here. But, but see, now you see a little bit more of a bump than you normally see with him because of all that separation right there at above the knee and here it throws off the timing he's and he's not pulling under the whole way it comes crashing down on him a little bit but he has enough legs to stand up with it a little bit of a struggle enough to make it but it would have been an easier day had he were tighter at the beginning and if we could play with that starting position a little bit a much easier day here we have Goodmanson at 370 I'm kind of surprised he's not wearing a belt because it's heavy now but okay but feet under the bar, hands on bar. See, why aren't you wearing a belt? Like, if you're looking to generate as much pressure as you can, wouldn't that be helpful? I don't know, sorry. I mean thoughts. Let's watch this slow. Feet under the bar, hands on bar. Doesn't tighten up. Looks for his gaze as he stands up, pulls him forward off the start. A lot of separation past the knee. The separation doesn't close. He has separation at the knee. Separation doesn't close. When the bar is away from you because of torque, because of that lever, it's, it's more heavy. Maybe he felt like he just didn't have it. It was too far away from him. He wasn't getting enough speed and he just called it a day. Should have had this lift. Good job. I really just wish you could have had this lift. 370, Matt Frazier steps up to the barbell, feet on bar, hands on bar, looks straight ahead, kind of takes a minute, gets tight as he stands, but see, it doesn't jolt him like it jolts all the others. He doesn't need that double bounce to stand up with it. We can watch it slow for you guys. Feet under the barbell here. He doesn't take that moment to really get tight and head looks straight ahead, but it doesn't jolt him forward when he picks it up. Keeps that barbell close the whole way, gets that nice tempo, jumps up and back, big shrug, pull under, but does need that double bounce to stand up with 370. All right, Scott Panchik, 375, feet on the bar, hands on bar, doesn't look where his feet are relative to the bar, doesn't get tight, pulls him way forward now. I dare say there was more separation, um, but he still gets it. Uh, he has enough speed and height on that barbell that he's fine. Let's watch it slow. All right, so feet under the bar, hands on bar, doesn't look where his feet are relative to the bar. Again, I don't love that. Looks to get tight, feet very straight ahead. Doesn't look for his gaze before he goes, doesn't go get tight. But see, here's the difference with Scott Panchik and Matt Frazier. Look at that initial pull. That initial pull, it's pulling him forward. It doesn't do that for Matt. So, it pu he's, so now he's compromised, it pulled him a little bit forward. But comes up even more so now. Now also notice arms are bent more than Scott Panchik's arms are normally bent at this level because with it jolting him forward like that, he, he's trying to keep that barbell close to him. See, arms bent. Starting to see that concave thing. Now he's starting to stand up, but you see the system has already shifted weight forward on the feet. Starting to pull the knees back. Starting to pull the knees back. Starting to pull the knees back. This is the separation we, we keep talking about with the feet straight ahead, knees straight ahead. So from here, he's forward on his toes. System is, generally speaking, more forward than it is stable. Now he's coming forward to meet that barbell. So he's normally pulling here and now he's pulling here. So he has to jump and receive it here, receiving it a little forward, not getting as much height and it's heavy. So a little bit more of a struggle to stand up with the barbell. Great job.
top two at the CrossFit Games. These little tweaks, these little things that would have made it so much easier for him at 375. Matt Frazier getting pumped. Here we go, 375. He's looking to get it. He wants that leader jersey back. Feet under the bar, hands on bar, kind of taking a second. Does his little weightlifting shake thing. But see, notice that. Notice how smooth that is. And notice what a great job he does in keeping that barbell close. And while he doesn't take that second to really get tighter, look for his gaze straight ahead, that it doesn't jolt him right off the floor. The knees come back, back angle stays the same, keeps the barbell close. You don't have that aggressive arm bend. Arm straight, here we go. Knees come back, knees come back, knees come back. Barbell's close, brush up and back, shrug and high pull, receive. Ready for the bounce, stands up with it. That's the difference. Matt Frazier does like Scott Panching, the butt come up and then come under thing. So while a lot of Olympic lifting coaches, and I'm one of them, very much teach and preach the back angle stays the same right off the floor, it is a stylistic thing. And in, in my opinion, technically, you can lift more with bringing the butt up first and then coming under in that style because it's not as hamstring dependent if your posterior chain isn't that strong, but it's more difficult to teach because you have to keep the tempo of coming up with the butt. It has to be controlled. It has to be the same with the weight and then you have to make up for it by coming under the barbell. Here we go, 380, Scott Panchik. Feet under the bar, hands on bar. Look, he's aggressive. He's re ready to go. Oh, but there's no pull there. Is he gonna go for it again? Is he gonna go for it again? Come on! All right, here we go. Belt tight, feet under the bar, hands on bar. No, no. All right, let's watch the initial lift. All right, Scott Panchik, slow-mo, feet under the bar, hands on bar. Doesn't look where his feet are relative to the bar, but he seems somewhat consistent. Gets under, he's aggressive, but he doesn't get tight before he goes, but he does look straight ahead. So he's not tight. So when he picks up that barbell, there's that initial jolt. And notice on this initial jolt, how much the butt came up. And his arms are pretty bent already. Not as much as they were before, but more so than they were the lift before that. So he's coming forward on his feet, butt's coming up. He's already struggling. Here, not bad here actually. Knees coming back, knees coming back, but once he passed his knees, like before there was a lot of slack. So there's a lot of slack here and now you have to come forward to meet it. And he, it looks like he felt like he didn't have enough tempo on that bar and enough height on it to, to be able to power it up. But it's also hard to power it up when the, the barbell is out in front of you because again, you have this torque lever, which means that 380 feels like more than 380. You have to impart more than the amount of force you would need to have the barbell been closer to you. So now you have the situation where these little things add up and, and you, you don't make the lift, which I think he totally could were the barbell closer to him and the barbell could be closer to him if his knees didn't slack off so much, which again is a starting position thing. And also the butt coming up at the beginning doesn't help, right? So all these little things that you're like, she keeps saying these things because they all matter. And this is where you see them matter. So feet under the bar, really knowing your starting position. I would play with his starting position a little bit, getting really tight, looking straight ahead so you don't slack, it doesn't pull you forward. You work with the starting position and your pull so your knees don't slack off so much so the bar isn't so much in front of you so that you don't have to come forward and meet the bar and then have the bar come up short or just have to receive it forward. It, it just bums me out because he, he could have had it, you know? That potential of he, he could have made that. So Matt Frazier, 380 feet under the bar, hands on bar. He's already happy. <laughs> Tightens up. Not really. Here we go, tightens up, pulls it. A little struggle on the stand up, but generally speaking is fine. So it's a little slow. So it's a little slow because it's, it's getting heavy. So he's not able to impart as much pop on it, but he does a great job of keeping it so close to him. And he's tight enough that it doesn't jolt him off the floor. So here we go, Matt Frazier, 380 on the barbell, goes for the pull, watch. Knees come back, knees come back. It does actually pull him forward just a little bit, but he, he comes back after the knees. Once you pass the knees, look, look how much closer it is to him than it was for Scott Panchik. And so even though it pulled him forward off the start, it wasn't too much. And here, he obviously received it a little bit forward, but he has the legs to stand up for it. So all these little things that make a difference are making a difference at 380. Matt Frazier from the side, tightens up, here we go. 
but comes up first. It does pull him forward very, very slightly here, just slightly. Notice the bar comes back with him though. Notice his knees come back with him too. Also notice the shoes. So these look like the Romaleo 3s. These are not the 2s. And the Romaleo 3s also have a higher heel. So when you're in those positions, it helps keep you a little more set, helps keep you a little bit more vertical when you're receiving the lift. But here we go. And then from here, just look how close the barbell is, like right at the knee, past the knee. It's right here. So when Matt Frazier is lifting 380 and the bar is here, versus when Scott Patrick is lifting 380 and the bar is here, this is where you see the difference. Because from here, Matt Frazier can keep it tight, get to this position and give it a jump. Look, I'm jumping from here versus Scott Patrick's here. I'm coming forward and I'm jumping here because I'm that far like thrown off. That's where you see it. And that's where you start to see these things come into play. So great job to all these athletes, all 10 of them, especially to Scott Panchik here and Matt Frazier. And thank you for watching my reaction to the 2019 CrossFit Games men's clean event. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. If you'd like to work with me from beginners all the way to CrossFit Games athletes, hit me up at www.wulif.com or in the comments below. Thanks guys, have a great day. Hope you liked it. We're at 370. We're almost there.